And uh, I had, I'll read you the, the message that I received, because it was interesting. I posted oh, no. it for those of you that have me on, uh, on social media. But the message that I did receive was, um, let me just see here. Um, okay, hold on one sec. I'm not sure where it is, but anyways, I'm going to find these because you're going to respond to them. Okay. So what happened was someone ended up creating a, um, a I guess it's a Craigslist ad. Okay. okay. I don't know what it was, but uh, I've got to find these numbers here. I should have had these ready to go. But uh, the, the, I started getting texts like, are you still looking to hook up today? What exactly are you looking for? From three or four different numbers here. So yeah, so here we go. So here's one that says... Hey, saw your ad on Craigslist. What exactly are you looking for? Let me know if you're still looking to hook up today. So I'll let you respond to that. Sure. Yeah. You say whatever you want, and uh, we'll have some fun with this. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah, well, why not, right? Like, yeah. These guys, this is hilarious. I mean, a couple years ago, something like that would have bothered me. Who the fuck's sure. doing this? But now, you guys are just creating content for our show. Sure. Keep, keep go nuts, right? So... Oh, Brandon. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm doing it. I'll send you, I'll give you, there's a few other numbers you can contact too, and we'll see. Yeah. You can say whatever the hell you want. You, really. you, get, you get some hot recently, man. I mean. Good. Could be. Okay. Here's the next one. This one, where was the other 519 number? Um, so we had one from London. Where's the other one here? I'll find them. What's that? No, weren't you guys saying something before? Okay. This is what happens when you try to do two things at once. Okay, so here's one. Are you still looking on Craigslist? Okay. You can respond to that one too. Sure. Okay, so anyways, back to the fun of Woman Crush Wednesday. Mm -hmm. What would you like to see when, when we have other women here? What do you think that would be sort of the structure of this show? What would we want to what would we want to discuss? What do you feel that men need to know about women that they, they are maybe ignoring or uh, perhaps we just don't listen? I think that's a common one. Yeah, it is a common one. Okay. I think it's Everything that women have, it's been the same thing over and over and over for years and years and years. I just, really, I think men have a certain state of mind nice. and women have a certain state of mind. Sure. So what I like to do is just not have any expectations. So when things do go right, yep. you are happy with them. And, Here's the last one. Um, you know, it surprises you and, oh, he did this for me. So I feel like women should not have any expectations. I don't want to say women shouldn't have any expectations. That's not right. Sure. Because you should. Sure. Standards. Standards right? are different. Standards yeah. are different than expectations. Mm -hmm. But when you're trying to get to know somebody, yeah. it's different to expect things right away. Sure. Because a man is different. Yeah. You know, men think differently. Maybe they don't want to give as much as a woman wants to right away. Yeah. A lot of women, I feel, get really emotional and want to give... They're all, all of a sudden. And I feel like that's where we kind of flaw. It's a little bit of a flaw of ours that we get attached too fast. Right. And I feel like men don't have that. Well, that's almost a survival instinct for women, eh? Yes. They want to create a pair bond and find a mate. You're, it's it's right. kind of... It's natural. Sure, absolutely. It's natural. Yeah. But nowadays, like we're saying, things are different. Things are women, different. Women are, women are developing these mental states like men now. Yes. Where yeah, that natural instinct no longer is so strong, so they're now in the world like, okay, well, I want to date too. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, I, mm -hmm. I want to go on five, six, seven different dates yeah. at the same time, yeah. and I don't want anyone to tie me down. So what I want, I want women to share their stories. How do they feel right now in relationships? Okay. If you're in a new relationship, I agree. a five-year relationship, yeah. or not in a relationship sure. at all, right? Yeah. Or even if you've been married for 20 years. Okay. I have friends that have been married for 15 years, right. and they're the happiest. I have friends that have been married for 10 years, and okay. Yeah. Right? Kids are no kids. Kids are no kids, absolutely. Kids are no kids. Yeah, for sure. Um, but would I you date a man with kids? I would date a man with kids. Yeah. Especially what? at this age. I feel okay. like at this age, there is now, you, you almost can't expect no baggage. Yeah. You know? Everyone comes with baggage. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> comes with baggage. Kids, yeah. And always it's right. either you accept. <laughs> Yeah. What's happening or you can't. Sure. So you need to decide that for yourself. What what age do you think that that um, changed for you? Just because like I, whenever, as a guy, whenever I think of dating someone yeah. with kids, I yeah. kind of... You shy away from it? Yeah. 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 Fair enough. Yeah. But like, I, You're younger I, though. Right. But so I, you know, I picture, you know, 
one, you know, three, four years, maybe five, I don't know. I don't know how long, but I, I'm sure eventually, like, yeah, that would be a thing where I'm like, yeah, really. If what, you're what still matter? dating in your 30s. But do, I guess my question was, like, do you think there was a time when that changed for you? Do you remember? See, I, I, don't, I can't really answer that because yeah, I, mean, I, really? was, I was 28. Right. You know, going on to 29 when I started this relationship. So right. that kind of now it's I, I'm past that now. It's at a, a stage where I'm not dating men that are younger. Mm-hmm. Well, who knows? But sure. Really. <laughs> it has been a trend for you. <laughs> it has been a trend. <laughs> but Nothing now wrong I'm with looking, that. And it's okay because well now I'm like okay well you know what maybe try a man that's older. Sure. In you know 38, 36, 35. And I have friends that are like, no, go younger. Why not? Don't stop yourself. It's not even about that anymore. It's just about, okay, you want to, now I want to develop a relationship with someone. I want to be someone's friend before I want to be a lover. Before you want to spread your legs for them. Pretty much. Yeah, that's what we're getting at here. I mean, I guess I was going to go back to uh, the concept there. It's like, wouldn't, I mean, at the end of the day, we're talking about, you know, finding someone who has children or does not have children. But right. isn't the more important question finding someone that you're compatible with? Yeah. I mean, right. whether right. they have children or not, it's, right. you know, that's, and that's, it's, it's one of those things, right? What a mature that's answer. True. Yeah. That's, you can learn the thing that's, that's that. what I can do That's <laughs> how you right? talk. You're a little older but, than, right. but you see, yeah. But you see, that's, that's like, that's the thing. Like, I wasn't looking at it from that perspective. And, but maybe that's not compatible if, if at, you this age, age, at this age. Like maybe that's not compatible. If, if you, you know, found someone and you dated this woman and you found yourself compatible, but then 15 minutes later, she tells you she has a child. That's the thing right there, right? Is that, that's that's a thing. Thing. Is that a deal breaker? No. Is that a deal breaker? It breaker. would depend. Like if, if I, it's the situation, I guess my answer is the situation doesn't make sense. If I had met, <laughs> what? <laughs> because, because. Okay. okay. Let me explain. So, if I had met, if if, if I met a girl, let's say I'm at a bar, or I'm just hanging out with some sure. girl, and we're a bar guy, we don't mind. We're gender neutral here. I don't think this is good. So, yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, so we're we're hanging out, we're vibing, um, and then she throws in that she's got a kid, right? So that's gonna register up here, and I'm gonna go, okay, kid, right? Okay. So it's gonna put me You already in. put a fucking negative tone in you, like a kid. Right, but at the same time, like, if we kept seeing each other and talking to each other, sure. and it turned into something, then yeah, I would probably would go, you okay, want to know right the away? positives outweigh the benefits. I would say yes. Right. Like, just, just me, I would say yes, I think. What I want to I know really. the right to yeah. 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 Okay, but if you're at the bar and you're both drinking. Maybe not that night. Okay. Right. Maybe a week on the road? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. By the way, okay. if we've been yeah. dating for a month and all of a sudden they come to your house that and comes out like nowhere, a toddler, yeah. I'm going to be like, okay. Yeah. Is that your grandson? Yeah. <laughs> you, you thought this was not important? Like. Yeah, no, so, I, I agree. I think that, uh, I, I think it's important to be upfront and honest. And I think most people are. But also, you don't care, like like you're saying, I mean, if you make that connection, if, if something like that is a deal breaker for you, you could be losing out on a great connection <laughs> without even exploring it. If that's, I'm not saying that you said no. that's a deal breaker, but I'm just saying, but, I agree. No, and I, I totally agree with that, um, which is why I wouldn't like, fix it in the butt, like I wouldn't just kill him like, as soon as I heard. But at the same time, because I'm younger, I think it would register as a negative for me. Okay. Because I think maybe someone who's like, you know, 34 or 35 sure. would be like, oh, okay, she's got a kid, so there's a kid, but why does I that, really like I want to know why that's a negative. Just because, what well, she, it's a negative for me. Because, because you don't feel like you have your life together. Right. Would and that I, be... I mean, that's, I mean, a kid's a lot of responsibility, and I would feel like if I was going into a relationship with someone who had a kid, sure. I would treat that kid as if he or she was my own kid. Yeah, absolutely, so, which which you should, but right. at the end of the day, that single parent, like, I know that um, with my daughter, I don't expect, okay. she has a mom, right. so I don't expect anyone to come in and fill those shoes, mm-hmm. I just expect them to treat her with the love and respect that they treat me with. Absolutely, and right. I think I think there's probably a lot of women who would be like, listen, like, I, I have a kid, you know that, but like, I don't expect you to to fill the role of his fault. I think a lot of women would do that. Sure. I'm not sure that would completely satisfy me. Right. Because like, I would still feel like I was in a relationship with a woman who had a kid, and if I'm coming down like every other day, and I'm with this kid, like, I mean, we can call it whatever you like, but if the father's not around, I'm a dad. Yeah, right? I, I suppose. I mean, I guess every situation is different. But right. the majority of the women that I've met with kids totally don't want 
They they have their shit together. Right. They don't expect anything from you other than right. same thing. Like when they when you when they're at home with their um, kid or kids, mm-hmm. you have you have to kind of grow up and get over the the sense of like, oh well, because she's at home and I made this mistake by the way. Okay. Um, when she's at home with her son, you should still be there and 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 then be hanging out with them. Rather, it's more important to be there hanging out with the two of them than it is to be with your buddies at, at, at the bar. Like, this isn't a night off for you. Right, yeah. I think not if you want something special. I think that that mm-hmm. needs to be... And, and I made that mistake when I, I'm totally open about that. Mm-hmm. Where I felt sometimes like, okay, well, you know, she's got her son tonight, so I can hit the gym and I can do this and I have my time. Right. But that's not the proper way to, right. to grow a relationship. Well, and I think there's kind of a, a, like a disconnect in terms of experience and maturity when you're maybe at that you know, tipping point age where you're just starting to date women with kids, where it's like, you know, like you said, a lot of women have their shit together who have kids. Yeah, right? absolutely. They're very independent. Yeah, right. Hundred percent. Support themselves and their kids. And protective right. of their kids. Like they exactly. won't even let you meet their kids yeah, until they know that, uh, that that you could be long term potential. Right. So I think there's just to finish. I yes or no? <laughs> yeah. So just to finish, like I think there's that, and I think that takes a lot of maturity on on, on the part of a, of a woman in a relationship. And if you're a guy just coming into that, um, it can. Like you're probably not going to be at that level of maturity where you you, you have to care for someone on a daily basis. If you haven't so, done it, if you haven't done it before, it right. might take some practice and some getting right. used to. Absolutely. Right. So I can see it being very easy to make that mistake. When sure. a woman awesome. is worth it, you will give it your all. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And sometimes you might think that you're giving it your all. I know that in the past there was times when I thought I was giving mm. my all, and I was probably giving it like. Yeah. Looking back, if that's I just... That's all experience and maturity, It is, right? absolutely, 100%. You're going to have to go through those points to get to the point where you are now. To sure. realize, you know, I, I thought I was giving it my all, but I really wasn't. Yeah. That comes with, with wisdom and age and experience. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. And I think that uh, having my own daughter and having a show like this, it's always like, okay, well... People might not understand, but the like my daughter's starting to look more and more like a little lady every day. So the importance of me um, sharing this sexual information, mainly about consent, because let's be honest, uh, this year I forgot to bring up in the previous podcast we did, mm-hmm. there was an incident in London where some fucking idiots wrote on the wall or on their window or something, no means yes. Right. Could you imagine, if, as a father, if my daughter had already been through a traumatic experience and I'm driving by there, I would fucking go living. Yeah. Like, that could trigger her. Like, she might not want to go to school anymore because of something like that. Right. So it's kind of my mission now. Sure, I swear, and sure, I talk about sex openly and honestly, but uh, at, at the end of the day, it's actually helped me to, to find more worth in my sex life and not be the guy that goes and gets lucky all the time. Right. Um, and, and I hope that by being open and honest with her and by... Uh, going around to colleges and universities and making sure that they, I beat the shit out of what consent means into their head, mm-hmm. by the time she gets to college and university, mm-hmm. I'll feel a lot better. Yeah. I mean, she lives eight hours away, right? So I, I, yeah. I can only do so much from here. But um, anyway. You're trying. Getting, you're doing it, though. Trying. That's I mean, the whole yeah. point of this, right? That's the whole, it really is. You for know, the majority. You affect one person, the other person affects two people. Those two people affect four people. It's just, it's a domino effect. Yeah, and well, just the the amount of people that, uh, even doing the, going around and doing the shows that I've done, for those that are watching that don't know, um, I did a tour in the fall promoting consent at a lot of colleges and universities in Canada. And some of the stories that I heard from some of the brave individuals that got up on stage, like women in, in particular, that were talking about how men didn't realize that yes at some time in the like you can say yes right but when a, if a woman passes out or changes her mind mm. that can be withdrawn at any time right. a no is not or a yes is not right. a full blown steam ahead right. it has to be a very enthusiastic sober yes right. so no, go ahead so I, I, I guess i just get worked up about it a little bit <laughs> no it's important right? yeah. And yeah me and brandon talk about this a lot because like yeah. there's some horrible shit that goes on Frats and colleges. And well, we just talked about that. That's, that's part of our stereotypical university culture where we right. all subscribe to the ideals that men can just almost do what they want. And right. the issue with this is when you talk about sexual assault and you know what happens on a university campus, okay. it's almost like a university campus isn't law. 
when you think about a frat party, when you think about something mm -hmm. that goes on downtown.